All right now, 530 electric vehicles slicing through barriers meant to be able to keep drivers on the road. The crash testing is part of an ongoing study by engineers at the University of Nebraska. Their goal is to see how well current guardrails are holding up against the weight of electric vehicles. Queen City News Chief Business Correspondent Taylor Young joins us now in the studio. So Taylor, you spoke with a lead researcher on the project. What did he tell you? Yeah, so he says, you know, given the fact that EVs are growing in popularity, I mean, you see them all across Charlotte and that they're much heavier than your average gas powered car. Current guardrails are not equipped to handle them. It's something drivers hope to avoid. Your vehicle slamming into a guardrail, but this crash was done on purpose. Researchers in Nebraska put two electric vehicles through what they call a high speed runoff road collision. A Tesla Model 3, the other a Rivian R1T, both popular EVs on the roads today. Uh, at this point, the takeaways indicated that guardrail systems meant for historical vehicles uh, may not have good interaction and, cap and compatibility with electrical vehicles, which have changed the game as far as vehicle structures go. After analyzing the crashes, researchers like Cody Stoley says the nation's guardrails were not made to handle vehicles heavier than 5,000 pounds. This truck in the video weighs at least 2,000 pounds beyond that. Others can weigh 20 to 50% more than your average gas powered engine. Even though this particular series of tests didn't indicate that this particular guardrail system may be well suited to handle the future generation of vehicles, there are other types of barrier systems and other safety features that can kill, still keep occupants safe. Despite the findings, Stoli does not take the results as a jab to the electric vehicle industry or the ongoing push by lawmakers to go green. In North Carolina, Governor Roy Cooper has set a goal of 1.25 million EVs on the road by 2030. Stoli says he sees this as an opportunity to adjust current infrastructure to be able to handle the future of vehicles. It's part of the transportation evolution, and this next step in the process is only one of the many steps that exist. Now, this study is far from over right now. The research team is working with the State Departments of Transportation to better prepare for what's coming next. Alicia. There